A nice simple intro that has me a little bit intrigued. As does this menu, what the hell is that? Anyway, hey there, I'm D and... As you just saw, we're playing Siberia right now. Another adventure game by Microids who made Still Life. This one actually came out way before that one, actually. Anyway, I remember hearing about this game a lot when I was a kid, and I didn't really know much about it, but it intrigued me a bit. But like other adventure games at the time, I was intimidated by it. Not so anymore. Let's give this a go. Oh yeah, I forgot, this is going to be a steampunk style game. Fuck yeah, I love steampunk. That robot is going to slow down that Clydesdale so much. Well, that's just creepy. Get right into it, I see. Alright. It glows when I mouse over certain things, and I can... And magnifying glass. Cool. Alright. Oh, and hand. Ah! It all start... It all stems from the circle. Cool. Welcome to Veladel... Veladeline. I'm gonna go with that. Oh. Oh, it's, a his it's about the city and the history of the toy factory. Giving a quick read-through, it doesn't seem like it might be important to the plot, but it does show that this company is responsible for making a bunch of perpetual motion robotics, or that they call automatons. And they've been doing it for 800 years. That is impressive. Grab your suitcase. I really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. Oh, there's no one here. Oh, a journal. Oh, what is that? Uh, uh, how? Oh, okay. Ah, just like the first still life. What? How does... Hmm. I... I don't... Okay, whatever. Something glowing here. Oh, that's probably the move. So, um, let's check the bell. The bell! Huh? I thought the guy would hit the thing. I need a key. Oh. I need a key. We have a key. It's right here. Bam. Oh, it's like a tutorial. Okay. So you wind it, and then you push it. Okay, okay, I'm coming. Hello, sir. What's up? Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. Huh? Oh! The notebook is like a thing of dialogue options I can pick. That That's gonna be... That's gonna make this game harder. Cool. I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. 
The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. The name is Kate Walker. Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor up. Thank you. No, oh, I need help. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say? That you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Hans' house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? Ah. Oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see, today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Momo sad, but Hans not dead. Hans long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo. Stop pestering the lady. Now go on, scram. Get out of here, you hear? What was I saying? Oh, yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Ballet de Laine, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is dead? I can tell you're gonna do that chin thing every time you have to say something new. It's gonna be a bit annoying, I think. Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. I'll leave you to rest for the time being. You must have a lot of work to do. You know, the takeover of the factory is very good news for us here. It would make us very happy to see life return to our valley. If only you had seen Valadilen before. It was delightful. People came from all over the world to buy Vorlberg automatons. Ah, somebody has left you some mail, I see. Remember, if you need anything at all, we're not far away, Miss Walker. Interesting. Okay, Hans, Momo, Automaton, Anna. Ooh, I'm gonna... <laughs> I am so gonna get lost in this game, I bet. I don't need that for the time being. Okay. I, I don't even know what I need to do right now. Except check this mail. Read it. That's how you read it? You put it in your jacket? Okay. Dear Kate, a client at the Universal Toy Company is more than eager to see conclusions from the talks with Warlberg Manufacturing. With view to a takeover in the days to come, and we have received notification to this effect. We are counting on your undoubted qualities as a business lawyer to bring negotiations with Madame Anna Warlberg, the current owner, to a close. Allow me to remind you that the Universal Toy Company is a multinational which has a monopoly on the toy market. How do you... Monopolize a toy market. It is a Class A priority client who is also presenting Madame Vorlberg with a golden opportunity to sell her factory. You should remind her of this fact in case she starts having last-minute second thoughts before signing the purchase agreement. I am under no doubt that you will live up to the great expectations I have in you, Edward Marson. I should tell Marson about the death of Miss Vorlberg. I hope this isn't going to get too complicated. I can't see myself staying here too long. Hmm. Guess that means I should call him. Wait. I don't know his number. Oh, mem oh his memory button. Office, Dan, Olivia, Mom. Okay, I'm guessing he's at office. Where first? Whoa, Escape actually closed it? Good. Why couldn't you do that for Still Life 2? Oh, and Escape brings this up. Cool. Now the test. Will Escape close this? It will. How did you stop doing this for Still Life 2? Why? Anyway. Okay, let's give him the call. Office. What the fuck is that? 
What the fuck just happened? Is this because I alt tabbed? Yeah, it is, I bet. Oh, wow. Marson and Lormont, how can I help you? Can you put me through to Mr. Marson, please? It's Kate Walker. Hold the line, please. <laughs> Kate, so tell me, how's the case going? I've just got to Valady Lynn, and there's a slight problem, Mr. Marson, I'm afraid. Mrs. Vorlberg is dead. Ah, that's most unfortunate. But I seem to remember we made provisions for just such a sad eventuality, and we know that there was no heir. Yes, that's right, but... So where's the problem, Kate? Contact the notary right away. I'll get my secretary to fax you his address and an introduction letter from the firm. Very good, Mr. Marson. Right. I gotta go, Kate. Keep me up to date, okay? I just... <sighs> Get rid of your giant box of a foam, please. Wow. That's... That was kind of amazing. Oh, that was... <laughs> Do it again. Do it again. Why? <laughs> I tabbed out and this happened to your phone? Uh, I don't want to run into any more of these bugs. I better relaunch the game. Your phone is fixed. Huzzah. What the hell? Call your mother. Well. Fine. I didn't want to talk to her anyway. You're not my real mom. I want to go through the door. No need to go down there. I guess I'm not going to go through the door. Mm, what else is in here? Kid, we should go find out about that the angry kid with the speech impediment. No need to go down there. Okay. Hello again, sir. Where did that child go? What'd he drop? Cog. Medium. And there's another one. Large. Is there a small? Check the table. Ooh. Oh, okay. There's one cog missing, and then I can mess with this thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, there's two cogs missing. Where would they be? <laughs> oh, talk to you. I'm back again. Miss Walker? Oh, so many options. My mission. A fax didn't arrive for me, did it? Maybe. I thought I heard the phone ring. Do you think you might want to go and check? Certainly, ma'am. Immediately. Thank you very much. I guess faxes are steampunker now. <laughs> you didn't even have to look. Dear Matre Alfaltoro, uh, I'm not even going to try. As you are no doubt aware, our practice is charged with undertaking negotiations for the takeover of the Vorlberg Manufacturing by our client, the Universal Toy Company. It is with great sadness that we learn of the recent death of the manager and owner of the factory, Madame Vorlberg, with whom negotiations had started. We are under no doubt that Madame Vorlberg left you instructions before her death, enabling this sale to be concluded. 
We should remind you of the significant boost the arrival of the American multinational would bring the economy of your region. It is for this reason that I am sure you will give our representative, Miss Kate Walker, a warm welcome. Yours faithfully, Marson, who was kind of a dick when I talked to him on the phone. Thank you. At your service. What else we got? Uh, we got help. Hans! The young boy who was here earlier talked about uh, uh, Hans. Uh, who is Hans? Uh, Momo was talking about Hans Vorlberg, Anna's younger brother. But he died a long time ago. Nobody here even met him. How, how could you mispronounce that? Who is the boy who was drawing here earlier? Is he your son? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. <laughs> He's not a bad boy. No, Momo is just a little simple, that's all. What is his connection with Anna Varlberg? Momo is what you'd call the village idiot, and Anna took him under her wing. He must have reminded her of her younger brother, no doubt. And uh, birds of a feather stick together, don't they? You're implying that Anna Varlberg was a little bit slow as well? Heaven forbid. No, no, not at all. She was a real loner. She kept to herself. That's all. <laughs> Why you gotta be such an asshole to that guy? I mean, he seemed to have some insights shit going on. Always trust the person everyone else doesn't trust. I just love all these little mechanical robots. I've noticed there are tons of them here in Valadilen. Be careful what you say. Vorlberg automatons are not robots. If you want people to like you here, never ever pronounce the word robot. Uh, okay. Uh, what is the difference between an automaton and a robot, then? <laughs> uh, well, to tell you the truth, no one really knows. Yeah, they're just fancy smancy. They want they want to sound special. Automaton. Did you know Anna Varlberg yourself? Oh, why, of course I did. I, I mean, well, not really. She was a very great lady. We loved her very much. May she rest in peace. How'd she die? I'm gonna go look around Valadilen. See you later. As you like, miss. Well, let us wander this town aimlessly. With no goal in mind. Interesting how it just starts you right away. I like it. Hello, bird. You stand out in that background. Aw, where'd you go? I've got a big place to explore, and no real idea what I should do. No need to go down there. She has an idea, apparently, though. Okay, I should find the kid, I think. A part of me also wants to see what's up with the funeral. The weird thing about games where you have the choices to what to interview about... Oh god damn it, more birds. What is with it with games and bird sounds being loud as fuck? Get inside. No need to go down there. Damn it, I need to find a place that there's a need to go down. Wait. Oh, hello, sir. Are you a baker? Whoa. Good morning. Are you open? Can I buy something from your bakery? Oh, afraid not. Not possible. We're closed. I can wait a while. You can wait, but we're closed all day. Day of mourning. I'm sorry. Please accept my condolences. Don't worry about it. Because of Madame Vorobolg's death, all the shops are closed. Mayor's decision. Try tomorrow. But tomorrow I won't be here. That's a pity. How do you know that? What if negotiations go shitty? No need to go down there. You know, you could say that before you walk over there. I mean, you saw me click it. That's one of those things that kind of bugs me in these games. No need to go down there. The fact that they're going to go all the way there before they tell you you wasted your time. No need to go down there.
newspaper. Oh. So she was 86 when she died. The town is worried about what's going to happen with the corporate takeover. Um, this guy's selling miracle elixir, apparently. Weird. And people are protesting a dam being built. <laughs> and it's 2002. Whenever you do the interviewing thing with, like, multiple options, it's weird how your character can, so, can seem so bipolar as you go from option to option. It's like, I saw you there with him. I love this robot! The hell? Um, this? That's going to work. Looks like something's missing. What? Do you want the... Oh, I can't give you the newspaper. But can I? Nope. Um, uh, huh. I have a feeling this game is gonna be weird. Yay! No, seriously, that was actually a really cool little doorknob thing. <laughs> it had a top hat. And here's something I'm curious about. Will this game have death? I mean, in Still Life 1, we have absolutely no threat to our character whatsoever. Hello, sir on chair. Good morning. Good morning? What a pleasure to meet such a lovely young lady honoring our aging streets. Please, uh, please sit yourself down next to me so we can enjoy the air together. It would be a pleasure, but I'm afraid I don't have the time. Some other time, maybe. I hope so, miss. I remember when these streets were full of vibrant life. In those days, there was a charming encounter to be had round every corner. Ah, our good little town of Valadilen is not what it used to be. It looks like things have changed a bit around here. Our children have all left the valley. They need to earn a living, don't they? Can't really blame them. You have to move with the times, don't you? And it's not at the Vorlberg factory that they'll find jobs. <laughs> Being excluded from the world is not an easy burden to bear, believe you me, miss. But it's such a pretty little village. Uh, I can tell you're not from these parts. I hope you enjoy the pleasures that we still have to offer. Good day to you. Did the workers get replaced by automatons too? Did they have did they just build more automatons to turn the cranks of the other automatons? Well, wow, it's like one giant robotic circle jerk. Wasn't it just here? Wasn't it just raining? I completely forgot it was supposed to be raining. Let's try calling this Dan guy. And then I'll leave you after that. Dan Foster isn't around to take your call right now, so please leave your message after the tone. Who is he? Is that your boyfriend who's going to turn out to be the killer? Does this game even have a killer? Does this game have death? That's what I was asking. Olivia has no voice. Neither does mom. I guess we're not going to actually talk to those people. <laughs> that amuses me. I'm guessing we got to deal with that robot door thing. Maybe if I give you the newspaper before... I don't know. Before... Yeah, take. Come on. 
Hmm. A deer? No. Huh. Oh, this thing's jammed. Facts one, facts two, maybe the brochure. Nope. The facts? I put the facts away. Damn it. Hmm. Cogwell. Give him my phone. Feeling quite stupid already. Oh, this is new. Okay. You turn that. Um, this. If that's going to work, it looks like something's missing. Maybe this guy wants to read the, um, second fax. He does! That is a horrible way to... Oh. Neat! But a shitty doorbell. This is such, it's such an unnecessary way to do things.